Well, it's that time of year again when the barley or other crops have been cut and uh, the stubbles are now open to do a wee bit of pigeon decoying. Unfortunately this year I have been having absolutely terrible luck with decoying pigeons. The ground that I usually decoy over has been absolutely hammered this year. The birds have been shot at that much that if they see a decoy at all they just veer off. Uh, that would be alright for a shotgunner now. He'll still manage to get a shot or two. Um, there has been a lot of shooting over it. But for an air gunner, I need the birds to land in the decoy pattern to get a shot at them. And I probably should have abandoned the air rifle and left it the shotgun. But I've been just desperate trying to get some decent footage. But anyway, this is a wee field. I think it's only about 8 acres. It's a roadside field. So I had to be careful what way I set up that I wasn't shooting towards the road or other houses. But it was quiet. I don't think it really ever been shot over. The farmer said there was quite a few birds on it um, earlier on before it was cut. But now it's been very quiet. But I just thought I can have a nice quiet day to myself without somebody dropping heel on me every 5-10 minutes. So uh, I set up, put my hide up. And at the minute I'm just putting out some decoys. Again... It's a small field, so I'm just putting out about half a dozen decoys. They're full-bodied, flocked decoys. Not that that really matters, because I have put the... I'm not sure what they call them. They're basically a, a photorealistic sock of a pigeon that you pull out over the top of an old decoy instead of giving it a touch-up with paint. And they seem to look quite good. Now, whether or not it makes a difference to the pigeons, I haven't really tested them far enough to see. But I'm trying them and uh, maybe if I get a better year at it I'll be able to tell you more whether or not they work for me. But I'm just setting up the decoys at about 20-25 yards in a sort of semicircular shape laying the middle of the pattern open for incoming birds to land in. Now I didn't see a lot of birds through the day. But I did manage to get one or two good shots in. There was a field, you might hear the shots, um, somewhere nearby that was been very heavily shot over that morning. So the main bulk of birds must have been going in that direction rather than this small field here. But it's just like this. Unless you get up and get out and try your luck, you never know what you're going to get. And it was a lovely morning. I was just happy to be up and out and trying my hand at decoying a few pigeons without having to share the field with uh, two or three other shooters. Well, I was only waiting, what, just over half an hour before my first opportunity appeared. Pigeon landed at about 20 yards, was making itself comfortable. Notice the magpies in the background. I got the rifle on target and took the bird with a nice shot to the head. So almost instantly the four or five magpies that were at the bottom of the field all of a sudden flew up and landed around the dead wood pigeon. They must have been attracted by the flapping the bird was doing after I shot it through the head. Now, I could have had the shot away a lot quicker here. I was just wondering, do I really want to shoot one of these magpies? Because I was here to decoy pigeons and if I shot one of these magpies they would kick up that much a racket I thought it would put the wood pigeons off landing. So I really sat there and watched them for a minute or two wondering what I was going to do and then sort of decided well a bird in hand's worth two in the bush. That and it wouldn't be right passing up such a golden opportunity at a magpie like this. So I decided when the bird closest to the wood pigeon lifted its head and gave me a clear shot I took it. The rest of the birds cleared off and didn't come back. 
They did kick up uh, quite a bit of racket, them and the crows in the area, for a wee while, but nothing landed again beside the, the bird I just shot. So after about 10-15 minutes, I went out and uh, I set the wood pigeon up as a decoy and lifted the magpie and took it back into the hedge or the hide with me. I could have set the magpie out as a decoy as well, but again, I didn't want to spend the morning shooting magpies and them having alarm calls constantly through the day as it might have put the wood pigeons off because it was really the wood pigeons I was after. The magpies will do for another day. I don't know how long it was before I got another opportunity but you see this bird coming in and it just wasn't happy with the decoy pattern flew around in a circle and then landed up on a tree to my right now the tree with the rangefinder was about 46 yards but I think the wood pigeon actually was further back in the tree maybe near 50 so I give it 46 clicks for elevation and about half an inch to the left for the wind and drop the bird out of the tree. Very shortly after that I noticed another silhouette of a bird in the tree but when I swung the camera around and zoomed in I realised it wasn't a wood pigeon but actually a sparrowhawk. He was obviously sitting there hoping to make a meal of any unsuspecting pigeon or some other songbird or even the bird falling out of the tree I just shot may have attracted him. But I watched him for a minute or two and then I decided to uh, leave the hide and go and find the bird I just shot just in case Mr. Uh, Sparrowhawk decided to make a meal of it. Boy, he took off like a bullet too. Anyway, I dandered over to the tree to retrieve the pigeon, still full of pride uh, with such a marvellous shot I had taken at it, only to be totally humbled by the fact I couldn't find it. Now, I did find one or two loose feathers and just suspected that I'd fell down into the uh, thick hedge below the tree and that's why I couldn't find it. Anyway, back in the hide and some time later, Three birds came in lovely into the pattern and I'm not sure what happened, I maybe was too harsh in my movement as I moved in the hide to bring the rifle up to aim, but they all spooked and landed, yes, in the tree to my right. This time the bird uh, was near where the uh, sparrowhawk was sitting and he was 50 yards away, which was 54 clicks on the elevation and I managed to drop it nice and cleanly with a headshot. Thankfully when I went to retrieve it I not only found it but also the first bird I'd shot lying in the field behind the tree. It actually been struck in the chest. How it was still alive I don't know but it was quickly dispatched and retrieved. The last opportunity of the day was a pigeon that came from the beech trees in the distance swooped out across the field and landed nicely at about 25 yards away. It gave me more than enough time to get the camera lined up on it and the rifle. It was an easy shot, an absolute sitter. But guess what? Yep, I missed it. Oh well. It's not a big bag, but it's not always about how many you can shoot, it's how much you enjoy it. <laughs>